Okay, and welcome to this second video in this series on uh, shell script. Now, I'm going to show you a shell command here, uh, but we're going to be talking about using it for uh, other programming languages, if that makes sense. So, bear with me. So, last time I was telling you about a website called uh, cheat.sh, and I showed you how you could use it in the shell, do it using curl, uh, cheat.sh, and name of command like uh, make dir, and it will give you some examples of how that command could work. Uh, well, there's other options here, again, that they show you on the website, and again, you can bring this up without going to your web browser, just by doing that, it's going to tell you the same information that's on the website, which is nice that they format it like that. Um, and here we're going to look at other options, and we can, you can see that we have other languages, programming languages that you can use. So, for example, they have programming options for PHP or Perl or Python or C++ or examples we're going to look at today just as examples. So again, we're going to use curl and then we're going to say cheat.sh and this time instead of forward slash name of the command, we're going to say forward slash and a programming language. So we can say C++ if we hit enter. Um, what did I do wrong here? Oh, maybe the C++ part. Oh, of course, it would help if I spelt things properly. So it seems like uh, cheer.sh is available if anyone wants that domain. Anyway, here we go. So the program engine C++, it gives you a quick description of it. Uh, and it tells you, you know, it's widely used by these companies. It tells you how a compiler could work. And if you execute that, the output would be this. And then it gives you some options here on list, learn, uh, for, you know, onward. Um, so... For example, real quick, if we wanted to search how arrays work, uh, so we could go curl uh, cheat.sh forward slash c++ forward slash arrays, and we can hit enter. And there you will give you an example of how arrays work in C++. And if I was to type part of that, so let's say I was just to type AR, it's going to give us an example. Oh, it's going to give us, okay, so there's a command that says start, because it has AR there in the middle. There's also arrays, and then there's the learn. Um, option here. What we're going to do here is we can also go colon list and we'll list out all of the um, examples it has for that programming language so you can use any of these. So like hello, let's go ahead and, and give that a try. So here we'll just type in hello and it's going to give us a basic hello world for C++ example here. And of course, like I said, you could use other programming languages. So if we were to come in here and type in whoops, Python it's going to give us a brief summary of Python. And quickly here, it shows you how to even start a, a web server, uh, whether you're wor working with Python 3 or Python 2.7. Uh, and again, just like previously with C++, we can type in colon list, whoops, colon list, and it'll give us a list of options here that we can look at. Why did it bring up Perl stuff? Did I type something wrong there? Oh, because I forgot to type Python. So that's listing all the different languages there. I was going to show you that next. <laughs> but Python forward slash colon list. And it'll list just the Python. It doesn't have a whole lot of examples here. But enough to get you started. Again, you can do um, hello. And it'll give you a basic hello world uh, for Python. Maybe they'll add more things later. Obviously, like I showed you last time, there are a whole lot of uh, commands that it have, has listed just for your basic shell interface. Um, but... Uh, it has a few examples for different programming languages here, so print hello world would be your example. Uh, of course, that's Python uh, 2. Point whatever there. It does tell you how to install it, like uh, if you're on a Debian or Ubuntu system, or if you're on uh, Fedora or CentOS. Anyway, so I just want to show you that the cheat.sh website gives you more than just your basic shell commands and programs you can use in the shell, but it gives you a few examples right now for other programming languages. And again, if we were to just do curl cheat.sh and colon list, it'll give us a list of um, different options. So you have different shells here. If you want to look at bash shell or Z shell, which is what I'm currently using, fish, you got some Emac examples. Uh, so these are different commands, I guess you could say, to bring up uh, information on those things. And then uh, again, uh, up here, we have different programming languages, Lua, Perl, C++. You know, this is just listing out everything that it has a list for. And then you can get up at the top here into commands uh, for your shell. Uh, 
that's pretty much it. Again, like I showed you last time, you can use wget. I would use the Q for quiet so you don't see the output of wget. Capital O dat and dash will say standard output instead of putting it in a file. Otherwise, it would put it into a file. Uh, and cheat dot sh forward slash and again we'll say awk and it will give you the output for awk or set. So whether you want to use curl or wget, both display properly here in your shell. And of course, you can always go to the website. Uh, and there's a few other things that this website does, but that's the, basically what I wanted to show you. I do thank you for watching. If you enjoy these uh, videos, be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description of the video. There you can go to the support section and support me through PayPal or through Patreon, patreon.com forward slash melx1000. Uh, you appreciate all support. You can also search through all my videos at my website from both my channels, uh, this software channel. I also have a hardware channel. I do thank you for watching. It really does help if you like, share, subscribe, and comment. So if you do enjoy this video, please do those things for me. And I hope that you have a great day.